Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making the famous birria quesa tacos. This is my take on it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. This right here is the best tacos I've ever tasted, and I'm showing you guys how to make it, so keep on watching, like the video, subscribe if you're new, and let's get started. Okay guys, you know how I do. I always try to show you guys all the ingredients you will need before I begin the recipe. This is the beef I'll be using. It is chuck pot roast beef. I'm using about 1.7 pound. And also I'll be using some chile, <laughs> some peppers, hot peppers, a few of them, okay? And also here I have some chipotle peppers next to them now if you can find the dry ones go for it but the store that i went to buy these they didn't have all the other dry peppers so that's why i'm using the canned one and there's a few other peppers that you can add in there as well i will leave the name down below i'm using one roma tomato about three cups of water okay in here, I have a whole onion right here. Next, I have some chicken bouillon. Okay, you can use the beef bouillon as well. The cube too, if you have the cubes. Um, also, we have a whole garlic cloves. Okay, you can use, I'm using half of that, not all. I have some cinnamon powder some fresh cilantro and also I have some oregano dry oregano I have freshly cracked pepper I have some salt also I have some chili powder here I have about five bay leaves for some nice flavor here I have some thyme this is some cumin, and also I have some cloves, ground cloves. I have two carrots, but I'll be using one. And I have the tortillas. Okay, shall we begin? First thing I'll be doing is giving this beef a nice rinse. Okay, I'm going to wash it with cold water. Once you're done cleaning your beef, next thing you'll be doing is cut them into small pieces so they can cook faster. Okay, now I am going to lightly season the beef. I'm using a little bit of salt, freshly cracked pepper and then I'll be adding some chicken bouillon as well about a tablespoon and we're going to give that a nice stir just like that once you're done this is what you have In a skillet, I'm adding about two tablespoons of olive oil. Then I'm going to place my beef in there just to give them a nice color. We're going to brown the beef. Once one side is nice and golden brown, we're going to flip it over and braise the other side. Once 
Once the beef is nice and golden brown on both sides, we're going to remove it from the skillet. Now, my skillet, I am going to add a little bit of water to it just to get all that crustification from there. Don't waste that, okay? I'm going to pour a little bit of water on there and save it for later. Now, so I can add it in here, as y'all can see. I didn't show you guys, I'm sorry. But in my crock pot, I am going to add the beef Next, I'm adding the whole onion with the garlic. Now, this is my way of making it. And I'm adding the carrot. I didn't even notice that <laughs> carrot head on there, but it is what it is. I'm adding my tomatoes, fresh thyme, bay leaves, um, everything else, basically all the, the rest of the seasoning. Just add them in there, honey. Okay, now this is what I thought will be faster for me. That's why I do it that way. Now, if you done yours differently, I don't mind as long as you use all the seasoning that I show you guys because the seasoning in is the best. It's what actually make the dish and you can actually taste it. So I'm going to add everything in my crock pot just like that. Here I'm adding the cumin. Next, I'm adding the last ingredient, which is the oregano. Just pour that in there. Well, not really, I have one more ingredient. I almost forgot to add in there. But now I'm adding my water. I'm using four cups of water, but three cups will do. Four cups was a little too much. Now I'm adding my chicken bouillon. Almost forget about it. But I'm adding it in, then give that a quick stir and we're going to cover it, all right? Cover it and let it simmer on high. While that is cooking, I am going to boil my hot peppers on here. I think I use about 12 of them. They're extremely spicy. Try to remove the seeds. Okay, and if you do have the other peppers, now is the time you can steam them. So what I'm going to do is add my water. Once the water start boiling, I am going to add my peppers in. And make sure you wash them, okay? Just add them in there and turn off your stove and let it steam for about 15 to 20 minutes. It'll be nice and soft and tender. That means they're ready. See how they look? Okay, now, like I said, if you have the other peppers, chipotle peppers, all the other peppers, you can boil them together or steam them together in here. Now this is about an hour through the cooking process. I am going to remove all of the tomatoes, thyme, garlic, I even used half of the onion, um, everything that I added except the meat. Okay, the carrots, everything. I removed them. What I'm going to do is blend everything together. So you guys will see how I do it. Just try your best to remove everything. And it'll be easier if you can just add your carrots in there as a whole instead of cutting them into small pieces. I'm using half of the onion and leave the remaining in the pot. Here in my blender, I'm adding the hot peppers. Now this is my take, like I told you guys. Don't come for me, the Spanish people. I see y'all, okay? <laughs> hey, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. By the way, I do make awesome recipe here. You will enjoy, so be sure to subscribe and press the bell. Now I'm adding my chipotle peppers and the rest of the stuff, okay? Just pour everything in there. And what we're going to do now is just cover it and blend everything. Mm -hmm. 
Now I am going to take my strainer and add some of the broth. I'm taking some of the beef broth from my crock pot and pour it in the blender, then pour it into my strainer to strain what I just blended, basically. Now here I am trying to test where is my meat at? Is it almost done? But it wasn't. Okay, so I'm going to cover it and let it simmer on high for three hours, three more hours or until your beef is nice and tender, okay? Once you're done, this is what you have, a nice tender meat, okay? It's super tender falling off by itself. So that means it's ready. Now I'm going to skim off the oil from the broth, set it aside and remove the beef, all of the beef because we're going to shred them. You can cut them, you can chop them, you can use two fork to shred them whatever floats your boat <laughs> as long as you shred them to small little pieces okay Now this is me chopping and shredding the beef as y'all can see it was very easy for me to just take two fork and pull them apart and that is basically how I shred them apart. Now, we're going to make the tacos, okay? I was having some taco night. So, I had, this will, will give you at least, I'll say about 10 to 12 tacos, okay? It depends on how much meat you put in there, but about 10 to 12. Okay, so once you're done, here is what you're going to be doing. You're going to take some of the broth and just pour it on the beef, on the beef, just like that. This is just something that I thought will make the beef nice and juicy. So I'm going to take some of the broth, pour it on there, then we're going to start making the tacos. All right, to save y'all some time, I did went ahead and chop up some onions, some cilantro, and one lime. To save you guys some time, I didn't have to show you guys how I cut it. <laughs> you guys know how to do all of that. So set that aside, I am going to use the oil, place it in a skillet or a grill if you have one. Make sure it's nice and hot, not too hot. Then we're going to place our tortilla on there, flip it over, add some more oil, flip it over, and we're going to add the cheese, the meat, everything else. Now, if you do want lots of oil, you can add more. I didn't want to go for that oily taco, like where it's sitting in the oil, so I didn't add too much of the oil in there. So now I'm adding some cilantro with the chopped onion and I'm using mozzarella for the cheese. I forgot to mention that in the beginning, but it'll be in the description box for you guys. Once you're done, flip it over, cook the other side so the cheese can melt and boom. <laughs> and let me tell you, these are so bomb. These are so good. This is one of the best tacos I ever tasted in my entire life. Okay, so try this at home. I hope you guys actually try it because it, it's good. <laughs> it's good. I'm gonna do a couple more for you guys. Now, you can double the tortilla if you want, like using two tortillas, or you can just use one. If you watching your curves, <laughs> you can try to use one tortilla, but this recipe, I've seen several videos, whether use two tacos i guess that's the traditional way to make it but at this point it's up to you to do whatever you want to do 
and we're going to flip it over and the best way to do it is use a spatula as you guys can see press it down flip it on the other side so the cheese can cook or can melt and that is basically how I did it don't forget to like 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 I'm adding the broth in a bowl some of the broth in a bowl then I'm going to add in my cilantro and also I'm adding in the onion okay and that is your dipping sauce you're going to dip it in there and eat it oh you gotta have that dipping sauce because it's everything everything and this is the recipe I hope you guys enjoy it I know it's a long video but it's worth it I try my best to show you guys every single step that I take to make this okay thank you for taking your time to watch this long video I know I know but hopefully you make it and it comes out exactly like mine or even better if you can <laughs> and this is it oh so juicy so saucy so cheesy try this out let me know how you guys like it comment like and share and i will see you guys on my next one bye